Hi, good afternoon everyone. I'm Patrick Johnston. I'm uh, the principal and co-owner, of course, of GoDominicanLife.com and LasTerrenasLife.com here in the beautiful Dominican Republic. I thought I'd give you a little uh, background to my role in the company and uh, how and what I do. Uh, my business partner is Stephen Hattie. He is on the selling side, uh, working with clients every day in Las Terrenas Samana. We have other uh, regional managers, one in Sisua Cabarete, Porta Plata. Uh, her name is Margarita Van Dam, and another in Bavro Punta Cana that is starting with us this month. But my role is different. My role is team oriented. So my role is to develop the company and develop the team nationwide and to provide and train and coach a professional group of 15 people now in our team to make sure that we give and deliver a quality product and service to our customers. Our internal divisions are simple. We have a four person marketing department. We have an administration, administration team. Uh, we have our internal driver, uh, a, a, a cook, a chef in each location where, where we work to make sure the team is well nourished uh, during our workday and, uh, and much more. Uh, but generally speaking, my role is to coach and train. And, but that said, over the last 20 years, I was a professional real estate agent in Canada, in Nova Scotia, and in New Brunswick. Uh, I led a uh, franchise of Century 21, and I had a mortgage company as well. And then beyond that, I had a co uh, for my investments, I had a construction company of 40 people. And of course, uh, we owned 2,400 and uh, so odd rental suites that were uh, owned and operated in our company. So I had 138 employees in my team in Canada. So what I do know about is how to organize teams, how to build a real estate system that's effective, and that can deliver a product and service, but we're all internalized here in the Dominican Republic. What's most important for you when you're choosing a real estate partner to work with, uh, either a real estate agent or a brokerage, possibly with both, is to check the references and the credibility of the people that you're dealing with. You see, here in the Dominican Republic, there is no requirement for licensing. So, if you want to be a real estate agent or you want to open a real estate brokerage, you just do it. There's no oversight. There's literally no one checking on the ethics. Uh, there is no one backing up those realtors or the brokerages to make sure they're delivering a product and service. So you're literally on your own. So what I've done with our company is we apply the same policies and procedures and audits that we do in Canada. We hire the right people, we train the right people, and we maintain a quality service. I'm very confident in the services that we provide and of course the skills that I have because in Canada, I sold personally over 3,500 um, uh, homes and condos to my clients over about a 20 year period. Also, uh, I have personally bought and traded just in my own companies that are direct ownership of me more than $1 billion in Canadian uh, dollars of real estate alone. So here in the Dominican Republic, I don't know, you have to check with others to see what their status is, but I'm very proud of my history. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm saying that my track record of delivering and building a team, having extreme amount of experience in real estate from the ground up is very important. And in the link down below, if you click on the link, I have included for your, for your view uh, legal uh, reference letters, both from Canada, from my lawyer, I used my entire career in Canada, and our legal system that we use here in the Dominican Republic. So that gives you some further reassurance that you know who you're dealing with and how things work. Look, I, I know this country is very addictive, and YouTube or social media and an iPhone 13 camera and a microphone like this can make you sound and look like you know everything. All I'm saying is this, check out who you're dealing with. Ask for references, ask for past client referrals, ask for professional referrals, ask how long they've been in business, what they did prior to real estate or before they arrived in the Dominican Republic. These are the important things for you to know and understand as you're putting your, literally, your life savings or your investment savings into the trust of somebody that you don't know, but you only know them from social media or YouTube. 
So we back up what we say and we deliver a quality product and service. So over the next few weeks, I will be giving interviews with our team so that you can understand the principles in our team and how we work. And I think that'll give you further clarity on what we do as a company. So that was just a little bit of information so you know more about who the people are involved in the ownership of the company. Stephen Hattie, my business partner, will interview him shortly so you can meet him and then we'll meet everybody on the team, okay? So currently I'm at the, the bar right on the beach here in Cabarete called Drifter and uh, we're here for a few days doing some videos and some client updates in our Sasua office. So we look forward to uh, receiving you here in the Dominican Republic and look forward to dealing with you very shortly. Good day from the beach. Adios.